This video will show you on how to auto provision Yestar TA FXS gateways with Yestar P series BBS. Before auto provision, please check two important things. First, reset the gateways if they are previously used. Second, make sure that the gateways are in the same network segment as the PBS, like this. Now, let's start auto provision. Find auto provision, move to gateways. The gateway list displays all the discovered devices with their related information, including model, MAC address, IP address, and so on. You can restart the gateway if they are not discovered and displayed on the gateway provision list. Then let's config the gateway. Find the gateway. Click Edit. In the Options section, select a desired template from the template drop-down list. And then, assign an extension for each port on the gateway. You can assign extensions individually or you can assign extension in bulk. Then go to Preference section. Here you can set key as send, SIP VOIP server. These settings will apply to the VOIP server settings of the gateway and gateway web login password and the line settings. Here I set a IP address to the gateway. In the codec section, select your preferred codec list for the gateway. Then click Save. And the PBS prompts you whether to reboot the gateway. Click OK to reboot the gateway. The configuration will be automatically applied to the gateways after reboot. You will see the specific extensions will be registered on the corresponding port of the gateway. And then the gateway IP address changed. All right, guys, this is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration. Please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.